Ta-da! Amazing. <laughs> wow, look at that stream. But That's what he said. Ooh. That's what the haircut cam. <laughs> yeah. I feel like an Egyptian sculpture or something. <laughs> Roman. I'm like, did you hear my tapping down there? Yeah, I could hear it. like, like turbo. Yep. <laughs> Running pretty low on water. I am parched, and as you saw, our tank is not very filled with water right now. So let's go and fix that problem. This is uh, for the deck fill cap that you have to unscrew it first and put the water in. And uh, yeah, I'll show you what we're doing right now to get our water. Um, so this is how we're filling up our water tanks right now. Normally, we we do have a hose that coils up, and there's spigots at um, each of the dog heads over here. But the water here is pretty stanky. It's uh, hard water, and also it's very sulfuric. It smells really bad, like rotten eggs. Um, yeah, having a shower in it is not very fun either. It's, you, you, you get the dirt off, but you don't get the stank off very well, but that's just how we do. <laughs> so what we've done, we got a six pack of these purified water containers for drinking water. Drank them already. And then we went and we filled up the jugs over at the uh, customer lounge. So we just filled it with um, that water from the sink and then we kept the caps off of it, shook it around for a couple of days and that gets rid of the, uh, the rotten egg smell. And so now we're just gonna put it in here. It'll go down to our tank. Unscrewing that. Some people say that we could just spray the water into the tank and then the sulfuric or sulfur smell will dissipate on its own. Um, and we might get to that point, but so far we're just using these bottles. We're not using that much water, so. And the cap from here says, Vatten water, so our boat is it's Swedish. <laughs> Normally, some people would use a funnel, but you know, that's not how I do. She's winging it. Oh. Crap. <laughs> I'm not doing such a good job here. There we go, that's better. It's much better. Ta-da! Amazing. I'll take that <laughs> from you. as it is watching me just pour water sometimes it's riveting in the hole sometimes not in the hole beauty pouring water oh my god this is what it looks like folks uh, wow Ain't look at that stream but a thing. that's what he said oh chad anderson said <laughs> until next time okay all right once again we are at the best hair salon in town the best view, the best rates. <laughs> Our boat is over there, so it's not too far from home. We don't have to travel very far to get haircuts done. By me, hey babe? Nope. Are you looking forward to haircut number two? Yeah, I gotta shave, look. Okay. Nice. First things first, how do we get you set up here, Sarah? That is the establishment. Not too hot right now, so you won't be dying. Underneath it. <laughs> okay, ready? Yep. We've seen like four dolphins today. It's very exciting. A haircut cam. <laughs> yeah, getting up close and personal with your hairs. Pretty handy having this be battery operated. Very convenient. Okay, we are just about done. How's he looking, everyone? Oh yeah. <laughs> I look at the look I gave the cow. <laughs> You're looking Wait, at you yourself? <laughs> no. I gave a look. Nicely done. Wow. Now I gotta shave. And look at this view. I mean, aftermath of haircut time. Jeff gets to put it all away. In the wind. In the wind. Okay. All of our goodies. Just another day at the marina. Living the dream. Let's buy a boat. <laughs> Let's buy a boat, they say. Let's buy a boat and then hang out in the Carolinas. <laughs> Now, 
Jeff is working on getting the wood from the deck off around where we're going to be putting the new foot pedal. He's using a little chisel. Let's go First take a I look. Drilled holes, though. First I drilled a whole bunch of little holes around like this where I set the depth of this tape. Oh yeah, because we don't want to get through the gel coat, just want to take yeah. the wood off around And uh, it. help me get rough the rough shape. I was going to use this but I was worried about just ripping through here. And yeah, also I needed to find a center and I need to put wood on here to make that happen and blah, blah, blah. So yeah. I'm skipping that. It's working, slow. It's Quite the mess. Do, <laughs> Making a mess is my specialty. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. We love our um, battery powered tools. They come in very handy, hey? I think everyone likes their battery powered tools. Yeah. Very slow going. Uh, well, this is—I'm just trying to find an edge right now. Here. That way, see, it works though. Yeah. And look what I find sometimes. Slow and steady wins the race, babe. Well, I got lots of time. So yeah, we got nothing but time. No one shows up. Ever. Living yeah. the dream. Yeah, as we wait for mechanics and other people that we've tried to pay to do work for us to actually come and do it or to give us the finished product, but just waiting forever. Story of our lives. There's the slow Coast Guard going by. I wonder what they're doing. I've never seen a barge labeled US Coast Guard before. How's it going, baby? Ooh. Slowly. Look at that. That's looking really good. It's finicky work, but I'm just going to take a little bit more material here. I feel like an Egyptian sculpture or something. <laughs> Roman. I'm like, did you hear my tapping down there? Yeah, I could hear Getting it. Like, like yep. Yep. Yeah. You're being very careful, doing little taps at a time. Well, yeah, I don't want to hit the bottom. I'm not. I'm not trying to smoke smoke the gel coat. Look how much damage the gel coat already has. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. Some cracks in there. And We're I think crazy. I have to take this little this portion out here too because if I put mm. this as my template. Yeah. You can see how it goes over that section a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that's about centered right there. That's a lot of teak. Material? Yeah. Sure is. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, it's ridiculously tough to build right there, but it does work, but I'm just going to do sandpaper now, I think, so I get a little bit more, yeah. just to uh, And the breeze comes and helps you <laughs> clean it up. <laughs> yeah, vacuum time. This is the tapping jet I was talking about. Hey, honey. Here's the mess that it's making in the front cupboard here. In the beaver. Freak time. Working up a hunger here. Oh, hungry? Why don't you have an energy bite? Good timing. Oh. Don't mind if I do. They're delicious. And if you want to know more about them, uh -huh. I'll link the video in the description down below and you can check out the recipe. Here you go, my baby. Egg salad with yeah. kale on a hot dog bun. Boat life. What are you working on there, honey? New core for under the old switch. Ooh. So I'm trying to shape it to the exact size. And it's just a bunch of back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. So we're getting close. Yeah. Uh, and then after that, you can show the top of that. Yeah, yeah basically in preparation and By the way, we got that, um, that plywood from a new friend that we met here Neighbor. at the marina. Yeah, he had some extra wood. We didn't have it. <laughs> and so he gave it to us. How nice. Okay, so now Jeff is going down here somewhere. I'm in the hole. You're in the hole. Alrighty. So close. Oh, is it too big still? Yeah. Darn. This is what it looks like in here. Take it show. So that's the hole that we're going to be filling. So it, it is fitting, but it's got a little bit uh, of a ways to go here. Close but I need to have a little bit of room to maneuver, but yeah. Jeff is going back to his workshop. He set himself up at a picnic table that's right on the other side here. And has power tool, a jigsaw that he also borrowed from 
a new friend here at the marina. That's one good thing about the uh, boating and cruising lifestyles that you meet so many nice people that just want to help you and they want to see you succeed. And so they will offer their time, offer their tools, their advice, all that stuff. It's very nice. Okay, after some more modifications, let's see if this works this time. I'll try the other way, yeah. just in case. Very close. Oh, it's very close, yeah. All right, let's take it out. Here you go. Try it again. Okay, got the hole all wetted out with epoxy. The next step is gonna be preparing my core, which is also soaking in resin right now, but uh, preparing the thickened epoxy on the core, I should say, and then ram it up in here and pinch it up there and try and fill it the surround after I shove it all down the sides of it. Now it's time to fill the holes for the old foot pedal so that we can do the, the old uh, fill, drill, fill, or drill, fill, drill, whatever the order is. Yeah, Thickened epoxy in the holes, he said. So it's I'm hard not, to hear him. No, no, no. Tricky, tricky. Here we are post uh, installing the little core piece underneath there. It went in really nicely, so I'm pretty confident. I got no voids underneath there, or barely any voids, as best you can possibly tell. Filled these holes after I came up here, wiped the ex excess away from here, filled those holes. And uh, yeah, I was just gonna ca carry on with my glasswork actually, but I, unfortunately it's past uh, the point of being able to do that. I did the fingernail test, pushed my fingernail in there, and I wasn't really able to divot it, or just barely. So, being a novice, I'm not sure if it's uh, still okay to continue. So, I'm gonna wait. I'll just take my time and sand it all out again and fill any any voids. But I guess I might make. I'll probably fill this with some more um, thickened epoxy, so that I actually have a, a flatter surface across here for that first piece of fiberglass to go on. Uh, Alex over here at Bach Marine had a really good point. If I hadn't already done this, I could have actually manufactured my core piece first and then dished this all out. Um, and then that way it would be very uh, continuous from the center to the outside. So that's a pro tip I'll have to keep in mind for the future, but anyway. Look what we found. Two little friends. He's trying to woo her. We don't get these in Canada. Oh, they're so cute. They're in love. Oh. Look at them go. Whoa. Coming up next time on Sailing Today's Joko. The days that we're getting hauled out. It'll be an interesting process to get the boat over to the travel lift because we have no working engine right now. We're trading in our yinglings for some Leos. Thailand, here we come. This old boat cover that came with the boat. We're gonna lay it out and see what repairs need to be made to it. Sewing in the 11th hour. Yeah.